welcome to StarMaid. So um, this is the shop, which is where you spawn, and you push X to create a ship. As long as you've got cores, I'm just going to buy a few things. Um, I think I'm going to need some more power generators. So what else? That'll do. And yeah, like I say, push X and then name your ship okay and then look at it and push R take you into build mode breaker breaker Okay, so at the moment we're actually outside the ship, so push R, you'll go into build mode. In build mode you have a virtual camera, just float around, um, using WSAD, shift will allow you to speed up, Q and E to go up and down, and that's pretty much everything for, for now. That arrow, uh, not the green arrow, that is the position of blocks which will be put down. The arrow at the top of the screen that's red at the moment, it'd be below your ship name, it's smaller. That's the direction the ship will move in, so bear that in mind when you're building it. You don't want to build it backwards. Okay, so it's going to go that way. And so what I'm going to do is build the simplest ship in the game which is simply one power generator and one thruster that's it there you have it simplest ship in the game and you could fly this over to an asteroid get out and start picking stuff up Push R to get out. And right click to pick stuff up. And you could fly around like this and just pick stuff up by hand, but it's quite time consuming and you can build, um, build a special ship to salvage. Salvaging, mining, it's the same thing in this game. So, I'm going to go back to the shop. There it is. And then we'll build the starter ship, which I saw on the dev blogs. So, you know, it's your basic ship for salvaging. It can be built with the starter amount and materials. Just need to buy a few generators. Um, and obviously the salvage computer and cannons, but they'll all be in the starter shop. So you get one computer. I think we need 21 cannons. Uh, but 20 will do. Okay. And then hit space to go into build mode. And we'll just remove that thruster. And uh, now we're going to just go over this. And I'm just trying to explain this in the same way that I saw it myself. Schema was explaining, or was it Beetle Bear? I don't know. It was one of them. They were explaining that if you have them set up like this, the generators for the power, that's better recharge than if you were to fill in, um, if you were to fill the generators inside. Having that sort of wireframe corner is better for power generation something to do with it it sees the empty space as full so for example if i take this off uh, if i take the ends off and put those three blocks inside the cube you don't get as much recharge from that okay so i'm gonna build it like I say, like a wireframe cube rather than a box. 
So we just put those there, and then we're going to put the thrusters on the other side. We're going to do the thrusters. So thrusters can go anywhere on the ship. It doesn't really matter where they're attached. So put them on the left. Uh, just coming out. You don't need many of them because it's uh, indicated at the top. You've got a thrust to weight. I try to double it or triple it, and that'll give you good agility. Okay, so uh, now we're going to get the uh, salvage computer. If we put the computer down first, it will automatically link. So, uh, let's see, where's the computer? We're going to put it there. It's a nice place for... You know, it's not going to get blown up and render your, render your salvages useless. Okay. Okay, so now it's linked. You can see the orange box. Whoops. Let's put that thruster back. Right, so if I get thrusters now, you can see there's an orange box around the computer. I'm going to put the salvages down, salvage cannons. I'm using this. This is the plan that Schema showed everyone, or Beetle Bear. I really can't remember which one's which. It's pretty harsh to say that, but uh, it was said Schema on the channel, so... But anyway, um, yeah, so basically you you put the one facing out the front where you want the projectile to come out, and then you've got six behind, and they're linked because they touch on the sides. So that will become one group of salvage laser, you know. And we're just going to do the exact same thing on the other side. Also, they'll shoot through blocks. As you can see, it's going to shoot through that thruster. So you don't need to leave an opening. So we're going to put another one on the other side, giving us a beam on each side of the core. And then we want uh, one firing over the core. Or I want one firing over the core anyway. So I'm going to put one more there and sort of do an upside down version of the two on each side. So another seven and uh, these give a good salvage rating so it's 0.67 but obviously I didn't come up with this it was on there it's on the devs YouTube um, and obviously you can armor plate this up however you want doesn't matter um, I tend to sort of fill in all the gaps with shields first stick a couple of batteries on the right hand side um, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's that's done, really. That's your basic salvage ship. You can go out now and do some mining or uh, whatever. You can harvest a load of stuff with this really fast. Obviously, you'd want to sort of put some hull over it to protect it from getting shot or install some shields. In all the holes, I think I'm just going to put a little cannon on here. So, so I put the weapons computer down first, and I put the salvage cannon coming back. Obviously, the projectile is going to come out the front there, and shoot through the generator. Um, to bolster up the power, I'm going to put a bank of cannons on the back. I think. Uh, yeah. But yeah, basically that's finished. So let's just have a look and see if we make sure everything works before we plate it all. Um, and you can decrease the range and increase the damage or you can tweak the uh, abilities on the cannons or the cannon, we've only got one. Right. So yeah, let's have a look at this. So it says the uh, efficiency here, 0.67. So I think I was just going to show people. Yeah, if we just buy a few more of these salvage cannons and stick them on the back, and then you can see that the efficiency actually goes down because more doesn't always mean better. You know, you can't just just put the biggest cube of cannons and it had a win <laughs> oh 
Oh yeah, I wasn't selecting it. I've got to select it. So I just had to remove that cannon so I could press C and select the computer, uh, which means that now I'll be able to put down the cannons will link correctly. Right, now if we press T into the weapons and have a look, you'll be able to see that the efficiency has actually gone down on the second group. As you can see there, it's gone down by quite a bit. So it's more efficient to have it in the way it was before, with just seven per bank. But you can put them behind each other, so then the beam would be twice as efficient. Just don't group them. Okay. So yeah, that's that. And... Um, Like I say, just going to bolster up the cannon a little bit. Similar idea to what I was doing with the other one. Only I go with a 3x3x3 three by three by three arrangement usually with cannons. But uh, I don't think I've got that many cannons. So we'll just do, just do that. Okay. Looks like I ran out. Yeah. <laughs> Keep running out of cannons. Come on, noob, count. That'll do. <laughs> That's lazy. I should have finished that off. one down good so now it's got a decent gun semi decent and it's not a, just a giant cannon either you know it's semi semi ship shape I guess and obviously this is the part where your creative flair will come out I'm just gonna cover it but you can obviously put in triple layer thick hull and you could form it in the shape of your choice and make it emulate something that you've copied or maybe your own unique design whatever the case uh, this part is you know where you get to it's a bit like Lego you just end up messing around with it and improving it and adding to it I'm buying hull from the station right now but really you should go and salvage that it's not hard salve uh, hull isn't hard to come by in this game you don't need to buy it you can even build it although I hadn't worked that out at this point because uh, like I say this is one of my first videos I just decided, yeah, I'm going to show people how to make a basic ship because a lot of people are flying around in these horrible wrecks. And they just get shot, they just get shot to pieces. I'm trying to cover it from every angle so that at least there's one block of hole between, you know, between us and, you know, shots and your ship because you don't want it getting damaged in like a couple of shots and you can't even shoot back because that's what will happen if the computer gets taken out the guns stop working um, and obviously if they take the core you're dead so also if they destroy your power you, your guns and your engines will stop working properly it's quite realistic in that in that sense so I think I'm just finishing off now. But this is this is pretty much done. Because I'm not really going to go engaging pirates in this thing. I'm just going to go fly to a planet, do some mining, and hopefully earn enough money to buy my blueprint. Because you can create whatever ship you want. And then save the blueprint. And then you import it to the server that you're currently playing on. It's really easy. And, um, yeah, and like I say, you just need to have a basic design for something that can salvage quickly. Because there'll be enough wrecks or abandoned stations 
and they'll do it all. Yeah, that'll be everything. That's all you need. I mean, when the game gets balanced, you won't be able to find loot so easily. So, and everyone says at the moment, ah, oh, but you can just attack some pirates, and you, the loot is ridiculous. But the, the loot's like that for a reason, so they get lots of feedback. They don't, you know, the, the loot won't be like that forever. It, the, the game's been deliberately made easy so that people can complete it quickly. Um, but yeah. And if you're a server admin, you can tweak the, the loot drops. You can just change it. So if you think the game's too easy, make it harder. <laughs> Look at that der derpy ship. I haven't even bothered to armor it properly. Right. Yeah, normally I put batteries there. I wonder why I didn't put any batteries there. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that'll do. Done. <laughs> Set sail. Head for that planet just there. Yeah, so off we go. All I gotta do is put my money on a planet. And that blue one looks good. See you next episode and we'll find out what's there.